Ever wondered how to get in enough fiber while doing keto OMAD? Well, rest assured, this video is for you. Fiber is so important on any weight loss journey, especially a keto weight loss journey, because a lot of people do the keto diet in an incorrect way. It is important to hashtag stuff your face with vegetables. And it's how I made my transformation on my weight loss journey. Keto OMAD is just a form of time-restricted eating where you're eating your calories within a two to three hour or four hour eating window. So the challenges with getting in fiber in that eating window can be a little bit monumental, but I'm gonna share with you in this video what foods you need to eat to ensure that you get in enough fiber on your weight loss journey with Keto OMAD. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Deanna Joy and I made this transformation with one meal a day. One meal a day is just a tool to keep yourself in a calorie deficit. Not only that, to take advantage of all of the metabolic benefits you get while eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. Fasting for 20 hours a day will help reduce your blood sugar levels, will put you into autophagy, and will increase your ketone levels naturally. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds, and I lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. So let's get into how you can boost your daily fiber intake while doing keto OMAD. Fiber is very important, especially when you're doing a keto diet. The importance of fiber is that it helps keep you full. It helps to support your gut microbiome and it helps to keep your blood sugar levels low and your cholesterol levels low. Not only that, fiber helps in the process of elimination of toxins within our body through regular bowel movements. Bowel movements are important, especially when losing weight, but important in general. And fiber helps to keep your movements at a regular pace. Not only that, the benefits that you get from hunger crushing and the benefits that you get with the gut health of your body gut microbiome, which is so important because we are learning a lot about the gut microbiome. So I'm going to go into foods that you need to eat daily, or at least not daily, but close to daily while eating a keto OMAD diet. Now this can apply to anyone who is doing a keto diet throughout the day or anyone who wants to get in enough fiber. If you'd like me to do a video highlighting more than just keto foods, that are high in fiber, let me know in the comments below. But in this video, I'm going to specifically target foods that are in relation to keto that are high in fiber and that will help you get to your daily fiber intake. Now, what is your daily fiber intake when it comes to weight loss? You want to aim to eat between 30 grams to 50 grams of fiber per day, especially when losing weight, because that is going to help you on multiple levels. Again, it's going to help you get in those whole foods. It's going to help keep your gut microbiome happy. And most importantly, it's going to help keep you in a calorie deficit because you're going to be full longer, especially with fiber. Fiber helps to keep your food digesting slow, and it helps to, again, promote overall health, not only just with the gut microbiome, but with mental health as well. So I'm going to break everything into categories where you're going to do fruits, vegetables, and then breads, quote unquote, so keto breads and nuts. So let's start off with keto fruits. Yes, you can have fruits on the keto diet. Fruit number one, avocado. Avocado has the highest amount of fiber. This will help you get in enough fiber while eating one meal a day because avocados are high in fat and fiber. So about 150 grams worth of avocado contains 10 grams of fiber. Total net carbs is three grams of net carbs. Next fruit, I'm doing fruits right now, and yes, avocado is a fruit, is raspberries. So about one cup or 123 grams of raspberries contains eight grams of fiber and seven grams of net carbs and only 64 calories. One thing I love about high fiber foods is that they're also low calorie dense foods. Most of them. The only category that isn't is nuts. Next, 
One cup of blackberries or 144 grams of blackberries equates to 62 calories, 8 grams of fiber, and 7 grams of net carbs. So 144 grams of blackberries negates to 8 grams of fiber and 6 grams of net carbs with a total amount of calories of 62. Strawberries is the next keto fruit I'd recommend, and I'm listing these fruits in order of high fiber content and in order of the most keto friendly. So one cup of strawberries equates to 49 calories, three grams of fiber, and nine grams of net carbs. So with strawberries, you don't wanna be eating them too much as their net carb is a little high, but it's good to throw in there once in a while just for diversity. Next fruit is black olives. Did you know that black olives were a fruit? They are, and I love black olives. So one cup of black olives contains 157 calories, two grams of fiber, and six grams of net carbs. Keep in mind that black olives are high in fat at 14 grams. Next fruit is tomato. Tomato contains 27 calories, 2 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of net carbs in tomatoes. Next is coconut. Coconut is also considered a fruit. Now, when it comes to coconut, you want to make sure that you are having the coconut flakes because the coconut flakes tend to be higher in fiber and they're a little more versatile. So 28 grams of coconut flakes, also known as one ounce of grams of coconut flakes, contains 190 calories, six grams of fiber, and one gram of net carbs. Now for the high fiber keto vegetables, Brussels sprouts. 100 grams of Brussels sprouts contains 43 calories and four grams of fiber with five grams of net carbs. Now, my favorite, edamame. So with edamame, you get the most amount of fiber with edamame pasta, but I'm gonna share with you both edamame beans and edamame pasta in the fiber amount. So 128 grams of edamame contains 118 calories, six grams of fiber, and three grams of net carbs. Edamame pasta, uncooked, at 50 grams contains a whopping 15 grams of fiber, 15 grams of fiber in five grams of net carbs. So if you are struggling to get in enough fiber with keto, oh mad, hello, there are two major, major, major food groups that I just mentioned. Number one, or food items. Number one, edamame, right there. Get some edamame pasta. You'll get in 15 grams of fiber. That is half of what you need per day. Throw in an avocado in there and you're getting your fiber count up. One stalk of broccoli contains 51 calories and a total of four grams of fiber with net carbs of six. Cauliflower. Cauliflower is another major vegetable that is high in fiber. So cauliflower rice, if you have about three ounces of cauliflower rice, which is incredibly filling, and that's 80 calories, that's a lot, you'll get eight grams of fiber and eight grams of net carbs. Now, cauliflower pizza crust, I did take a look at it, and they're generally not keto friendly. They're too high in carbs and they are too low in fiber. So you might as well stick to things like cauliflower itself or cauliflower rice. All right, honorable mentions here are keto breads. Keto breads are a great way to get in tons of fiber. I love my Carbonat bread. Two slices is equivalent to 160 calories and you get 12 grams of fiber with it. Total net carbs is four grams. So if you got some keto bread, ate avocado every day, and you had edamame every day, you would easily hit that goal of 30 grams of net fiber in your diet daily. When I was losing weight with one meal a day, edamame was a staple on my diet because it had tons of fiber, had tons of protein, and I love the taste of edamame pasta. To me, it tastes like regular pasta, and it is absolutely a win because the net carbs of it is so low. There are 20 grams of total carbs in it, 
15 grams of that is fiber. So you're only getting a net gram amount of five grams. Another keto bread is keto tortilla. This one's called Unbun. It's here in Canada. Now you can go to your uh, grocery store, wherever you're from, and you can find these products. So Unbun contains for two tortillas is 220 calories, eight grams of fiber, and three grams of net carbs. Now nuts, pecans, hazelnuts, almond nuts, pistachios, Brazil nuts, and walnuts in that order and peanuts. Pecans have the most amount of fiber and fat, 20 grams of fat, fiber, three grams of fiber. And for one ounce of pecans or 28 grams is 184 calories. One ounce of hazelnuts is 155 calories, three grams of fiber and two grams of net carbs. Next, almonds. One ounce of almonds is 162 calories, three grams of fiber, and three grams of net carbs. Brazil nuts are very good for you because they have monounsaturated fats in them. One ounce of Brazil nuts contains 187 calories, two grams of fiber, one gram of net carbs. Walnuts are another great source of fiber and fat. Walnuts contain one ounce which is 28 grams, contains 164 calories, three, two grams of fiber, and two grams of net carbs, along with 18 grams of fat. And one ounce of peanuts contains 161 calories, two grams of fiber, and two grams of net carbs with 14 grams of fat. So everything there, I named it in order. And I just want you guys to know that it is easily done to get in enough fiber on Keto OMAD. Make sure you're getting your sources from the vegetables and fruits I mentioned. Avocado daily, if not every other day. Edamame pasta, keto breads, getting in those high fiber nuts like hazelnuts, getting in those high fiber nuts like pecans, things like unbun high fiber tortillas that are low in carb and keto friendly. Anyway, I hope this video was of use to you. This video was inspired by this comment that someone asked me. I want to make sure you guys are doing the keto diet in a way that you're able to transition to another diet because when you do it this way, it is simple to learn how to eat healthy with or without keto. It's easy to transition into a healthy diet that isn't low carb because you're familiar with eating these foods. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the words high fiber and I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.